Okay, I'm Duffy, better known as Diane Smiley's uh, husband. Uh, I'm an Air Force Academy graduate. Uh, I flew airplanes for the Air Force for uh, over 20 years. Worked, to, uh, went to work for General Motors uh, Design and did veterans outreach there. Uh, my wife and I have fostered over 20 children uh, and adopted three children of all races. My wife is an Air, was an Air Force nurse, of whom I'm very proud, and she it was a public health nurse. Politics and school, wow. Now that is a surprise. When I was 18 years old, Ange Candela got a group together and moved Oscar Musgrave out of the superintendent's position in Ashtabula, Ohio. That same year, my beloved uh, pastor, Olin Hull, was moved out of his church. Politics is a fact of life, and it's no different in, in the school system, and superintendents are political. Just it's, You can't avoid that. That's what the name of the game is. Newsflash, superintendents, including Dr. Asplund, are political. Dr. Asplund was political when he established the Equity Council and hid it from the sunshine. He was political when he opposed the governor's mask policy. He was political when he aligned himself with the majority of the board, previous board on most issues, and ignored the minority. He presided over a hiring spree when he should have been downsizing. And that hiring spree included his own wife, which was probably legal, but uh, probably doesn't look good, not good judgment. Uh, he wouldn't provide requests for information to Mrs. Rose, probably because she was in the minority, and he didn't have to because he had the other three board members on his side. Uh, he didn't attest, uh, impress Tim, Tim Enos when he was on uh, Dr. Asplund's uh, uh, staff, and you know, it's a real son of a gun when you go from being the employee to the employer or vice versa, and so Tim Enos had a unique uh, insight into what was going on in this school system, and he, he brings that to the table. And finally, he didn't respond to Mrs. Ziegler after the board was installed. This happens all the time in, in industry, in schools, in churches. New people come in, new leaders come in, and, and all of a sudden, the fit isn't what it used to be. Uh, I want to leave this that one thing we need to do is ensure that our country respects our flag and our teachers and our moms and dads. That ought to be utmost in, in the area of respect. And I think we've crowded out a lot of that with some uh, other types of teachings. Bye. Thank you very much. Angela